to the Shell Biomechanics range of orthotics offers triplanar motion control. But what exactly does this mean? Movements in the human body can be described as taking place along one of three planes. These anatomical planes are imaginary dividers used to describe the direction of movement in the body. The frontal plane divides the body into front and back, the sagittal plane into left and right, and the transverse plane into top and bottom. These planes are used to describe the axes along which actions are performed. Let's look at this in terms of foot movements. Firstly, the frontal plane movement. The frontal plane divides the body into front and back. Foot movements in the frontal plane describe rolling with the sole of the foot facing inwards and outwards. These movements are called inversion and eversion. Secondly, the sagittal plane movements. The sagittal plane divides the body into left and right. Foot movements in the sagittal plane describe moving the foot upwards and downwards. These movements are called dorsiflexion and plantar flexion. Finally, there are movements in the transverse plane. The transverse plane divides the body into top and bottom. Foot movements in the transverse plane describe moving the foot side to side towards the centre of the body and away from the centre of the body. These movements are called adduction and abduction. So they are the movements that the foot can do in three different planes. But when we walk, we don't only move our foot in one of these directions, we move it in all three at once. The Shoal Biomechanics range of products has been designed to affect the position and motion of the foot in all three of these planes. This is what is meant by triplanar motion control.